Hey guys, welcome back. We are continuing our journey through Metal Gear Solid and we've just finished off Liquid Snake. He's, he's dead for all we know and we killed Metal Gear Rex and everything is kind of working out. We just got to get that budge out of here. So we're picking this up where I left off. So uh, yeah, let's continue. Hey, we've made it out. Jeez, increase. Oh, wowzers. I do not know how these episodes are gonna <coughs> be edited together. Snake, they've placed the colonel under arrest. I, I don't know what I should do. It's probably I'm going to miss those prophets of yours. Okay, okay, okay. I don't want to say goodbye to you. Uh, safe. Snake, please be safe for me. I'll probably do something like a hard exit or whatever, so I'll see how we get on. Oh, rations, nice. Just the one? Okay, that's that's cool. Um, have we got any guns? No guns whatsoever. Fantastic. I love this, look at that. Hey, hey girl. I can check out your booty. I'll drive. <clears throat> Damn, surveillance camera. Oh, come on girl, come on. Do you not know this game? Damn, no keys. Oh, great. Struth, the one is gonna get, get. Girl, come on. Jesus. I got it, Snake. Jump in. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. These guards are the worst guards ever. Fire that machine gun with your weapon button. Shoot him, Snake. I. How do I shoot? There we go. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my days. So you know when they die, they, you know when they're dead there, when they go, oh, oh. Hold on. God damn, that was rough. Dun, 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 dun. Turning on the spot, turning on the spot, yo. Come on, girl. We got eight, eight and a half minutes. Get out of here. I'm trying, girl. It's freaking hard work. I ain't got a lot of life for this. I have not got a lot of life for this. Well, that's a pretty badass driving girl, I must say. I'll give you props for that. God damn! God damn! We'll never make it. Snake, clear up They're just like... Yes, this, is a, this is so annoying. This is so annoying. Oh, come on, I'm a sitting duck. Oh, come on. Good, I ain't got no life for this. Whatever happens next, I'm just dead. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Not yet, Snake. Oh, God. It's not over yet. No, I know. I'm I'm pretty much dead anyway. Try my luck. <clears throat> Just let him drive into my gunfire. Go on. Don't you dare. <clears throat> oh, I'm on a slip. Oh, he got me! <coughs> oh, you bastard! Right at the end, Meryl. Look, I'm dead, Meryl. Look at me, Meryl. I'm dead. This is what your love does. That was rough. Hurry! 
All right, have I got my rations now? So now I know what to do. I'll drive. Damn, How do you camera. like? There must be like. Damn, no keys. <clears throat> must be an easy way to kill these guys. Well, I'm nearly dead already. against the wall like this because there's like no there's no reason to kind of like point your gun forward at this stage so I'm gonna point to the side when she turns in. Hopefully she turns in the same manner. Why did that guy not die? Trying girl, trying my hardest. Come on die! You know. Oh, Jesus Christ. You did it, Snake. Ain't got any life left again. No more life left again. Not yet, Snake. It's not over yet. Liquid. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. You bumhead. You had to get me, didn't you? Nice. Oh, you freaking asshole! Come on, just go girl, go, 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 go. Oh, crying out loud, this is, this is the worst. Ration left. They're all gravy, baby. We're not out of the 
Good, they're dead. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. And I got my rations, look. I got my rations, look. Where is it to? Right, we've got all this to go against bloody liquid now. All this to go against liquid. So we should be able to make it now. We should be able to make it. Unless he's a bloody arsehole and does something crazy. Yet, it's not over yet. It's not over yet, mate. Liquid. Come on, mate. Go, get into my gunfire. There you go. Oh, you friggin' arsehole. There we go. He's a bumhead. I hate him. Oh, why... He's such an asshole. Come on, S snake, stay with it, mate. Stay with it. Stay with it. Oh my god, I don't even know what to do it now. Come on, mate. Come on. Oh, finally. Oh, for crying out loud! Oh, why is he so good? Come on. Oh, good, we're getting this now. We're getting a rhythm of the night now, we're getting a rhythm of the night. Pump up the jam, pump it up till your feet are stomping. You're an arsehole, Liquid. Liquid, you are a motherfudging arsehole and I hate your face. Come here. Oh, come on, no! Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oh. That's it, I think. That is it. him either. Liquid's dead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I love the way he went, uh-oh. That's so cheesy. Fox die. Oh. die. Not 100% sure as to how the fox die picks its, picks its person, but oh well, we'll take it. We'll take it. Oh man, he's gone. He's dead. Come on, you got another. You got quite a lot more franchise to get through Snake. So uh, solid don't Snake. So uh, snake. I don't think Fox Die is something to worry about. What happened to the air raid? No stealth bombers in sight. Ooh. Snake, can you hear me? Yeah, huh? Colonel, are you okay? Colonel, what happened? 
The Secretary of Defense has been arrested. Oh, Colonel's back. Of course, Early yeah. I just kind of, I just, just arrested. Got used to him being on the Kodak, but I forgot he got taken away. President. Metal Gear, the training exercise, all of it. It was all the Secretary of Defense acting alone. Oh, Jesus. Acting alone. What happened to the air raid and the nuclear strike? The orders were rescinded. The F 117s and the B 2 spirits have returned to the base. Why is it? Once again. I have complete authority over this operation. I see. Washington isn't stupid enough to use nukes to cover up a few secrets. I wonder about that. In any case, the danger's over. Thanks, Snake. What well on Snake? You can rest easy. Merrill's fine. Really? <laughs> I grin on his face. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you, Snake. Snake. I'm sorry. I, I kept a lot of things from you. It's okay, Colonel. Snake. What about it, Colonel, mate? It all worked out. I'm not a Colonel. Huh. I only died a couple oh, of times, right. so we're all great. I've got baby. a present for you. There's a snowmobile close to you. Mei Ling saw it on the satellite photos. This time of year, the glaciers are pretty calm. You should be able to ride right out of there. I'll bet the boys at the DIA and the NSA never expect you to come home alive. Me neither. I better not show my face around here. Hmm. No danger of that. You two officially died after your jeep sank into the ocean. That's not too far from the truth. Also, there's a helicopter waiting for you on Fox Island. Dr. Hal Emmerich should be somewhere on the base. I want someone to bring him in. I understand. Leave it to me. Okay, Roy. Are you going to be okay? <laughs> Don't worry. I've Roy. got an insurance Take policy. Roy, a hard copy of all Mei Ling's data. As long as I've got that, you, me, and Mei Ling will be fine. The battery on these nano machines will run out soon. They won't be able to follow us. I guess we won't meet again. <laughs> don't worry. I'll pay you a visit sometime. What really? I don't know. I've never paid Metagross on a 2 or anything after Roy, this, so I have no idea if we do ever meet again. What? About Fox Die. Meryl will be fine. She wasn't included in its programming. What about me? It killed Liquid. Naomi said that she wants to talk to you face to face about that. How is she? Don't worry. Mei Ling is with her right now. I'm switching over to Naomi. Hmm. Snake, it's me. Naomi. I heard about my brother. I'm sorry. But he had one last message he wanted to say to you. He told me to tell you to forget about him and to go on with your own life. Frankie said that? Yeah. He also said he'll always love you. Oh. Naomi, your brother just saved you, me, and the whole world. He fought with every ounce of strength in his body. Maybe. And he was pretty much crushed. Maybe now he's finally found some Every peace. ounce is right. He wasn't really my brother anymore. Ever since he fought with you in Zanzibar, he's been like a ghost. A ghost looking for a place to die. Mm. <laughs> oh, getting the mad feels, y'all. Naomi, Liquid died from Fox Die too. What about me? When am I gonna go? That's up to you. What do you mean? Everybody dies when their time is up. Yeah, so when's mine up? <laughs> it's up to you how you use the time left to you. Live, Snake. It's all I can say to you. It's just like, uh, so, uh, is it going to be like an hour or a year, ten years? Each person is born with their fate written into their own genetic code. It's unchangeable, immutable. But that's not all there is to life. I finally realized that. I told you before the reason that I was interested in genes and DNA. Because I wanted to know who I was. Where I came from. I thought that if I analyzed my DNA, I could find out who I was, who my parents were. And I thought that if I knew that, then I'd know what path I should take in life. But I was wrong. Hmm. I didn't find anything. 
I didn't learn anything. A shorter girl. <laughs> Just like with the genome soldiers, you can input all the genetic information, but that doesn't make them into the strongest soldiers. The most we can say about DNA is that it governs a person's potential strengths, potential destiny. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. Snake, whether or not you're in the Fox Die program isn't important. Mm. The important thing is that you choose Choose life. life. That's like a 19th live. <laughs> Don't you think, Snake? Don't worry. I'm going to choose life too. Until today, I've always looked for a reason to live. But from here on, I'm going to just live. Just live, Snake. Don't care about what your DNA says or whatever. Just do you, do you, mate. You want to sit on the porch and just drink beers? Do that. Genes exist to pass down our hopes stay and in dreams day, to the future through our children. Your laptop. Creepy, but still, it's you, man. You just do you. Living is a link to the future. That's how all life works. Loving each other, teaching each other. That's how we can change the world. Here's your escort, my lady. <laughs> I finally realized it. The true meaning of life. Thank you, Snake. No worries. Look, I found this. Let's keep it as a reminder. Of what? A reminder of a successful mission? Or the first time we met? A reminder of how to live. I think that mm -hmm. she just held. If I reload the game. Until today. I've lived only for myself. I think if I put uh, equip it, the only thing I cared it doesn't about deplete ammo. Life. I think that's the jams. I think I might be wrong. That's but. not just you. That's how everyone is. I only felt truly alive when I was staring death in the face. I don't know. Maybe it's written into my genes. What about now? What about now? What do your genes say about your future now? They say that they're tight and sweet. Maybe it's time I live for someone else. And I should lose some weight. <laughs> Someone else? Yeah. Someone like you. Maybe that's the real way to live. Would you find her as like hot if you if so, you wouldn't have? Like... Where to snake? David. David. My name's David. Hello, my name okay. is Dave. So where to <laughs> Dave. Dave. My name is Dave. <laughs> Hello, Dave. I think it's time we look for a new. Path. You're my wife now, Dave. Hello, a Dave. New path. A new purpose. Hello, Dave. Will we find it? We'll find it. I know we'll find it. <laughs> what are those? Caribou. To the Aleutians, the caribou is a symbol of life. It'll be spring here soon. For us too. <gasps> yeah. Spring brings new life to everything. It's a time for hope. Mm. I've lived here a long time, but Alaska has never looked more beautiful. The sky, the sea, the caribou, and most of all, you. Oh, that was cheesy, mate. That's cheesy. I Dave, think Dave, I'm mate, that's like cheesy. This new life. Come on, let's enjoy life. <laughs> let's wipe all this. Let's wipe off this blood off ourselves. Don't know if it's mine, don't know if it's a soldier's, but let's start, let's wipe it all off and start a new life together. Ah, guys, these last couple of episodes were a bit mismashy. Mismashy, I had to like edit them down in a weird and wonderful way. In the 1980s, there were most, more than 6,000 nuclear warheads in the world at all times. The total destructive power amounted to 1 million times of a Hiroshima A bomb. Uh, in January 1993, Stars 2 was signed and the United. States and Russia agreed to reduce the number of deployed strategic nuclear warheads to 3,000 in each uh, nation. However, as of 1998, there still exist 26,000 nuclear warheads in the world. So what? You're just not, not, not doing the thing? They're not just doing the thing? Is that a fact? Is that like a... 
little fact of the day at the end of this game. I never, I could never, I didn't ever remember that being there before. That's really strange. Guys, we have completed Metal Gear Solid. That was cool. That was cool. Playing this game again. Um, it was awesome. It, I, I know it's to put myself back in like when it was originally released. There's nothing like it, was there? There was nothing like it. You had all your Mario's, you had your Sonic's, you had, like, and then you had the next generation games on the on the Nintendo 64 and stuff like that. Um, we're, we're breaking into this 3D realm, but they're still keeping to the familiarities of what was tried and true uh, from previous consoles. This game broke the mold. It literally said, you cannot run around, you cannot be an idiot, you will get punished if you freaking jump around like a mofo and uh yeah that's awesome the story about you know the story the story is pretty deep god damn it's deep um but it's also really odd and like you're really unique in the way that the the the, the, the 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 bosses are and stuff like that and every single boss battle is so different from the next it's, it's crazy it's like it's awesome it's just so good how like like the way i it was really a good way of the way I broke it down into these episodes because every single, especially when I was like doing one boss after another boss, like I went from like um, Psycho Mantis to like to to the ninja guy and then over to you know and I revolved boss a lot before that and, you know each each person you had to do in different ways. Oh, no polar bears! <laughs> yeah, it was it was cool. It's a really damn good game. Uh, it pushed you know pushed the boat out you know thinking outside the box. Uh, it's really, really good. Kind of the graphics-wise, hasn't stood the test of time. Still playable, it's still doable. You know, what I mean, this war still looks nice, right? Um, I haven't played the, the GameCube remake. Uh, apparently, that's meant to be really cool. Um, so um, yeah, really enjoy playing this game again. So <laughs> does it just give you a load, of, a load of animals at the end of this game? That's just ridiculous. That's so funny. So um, I think at the end of this, I wonder what I'm going to do next. I wonder what I'm going to do next after this. Um, I'm thinking maybe maybe if you've got to this point and you're, you you know you come to the end of the video, why don't you put a suggestion down in the comments, guys, see what you want to do next. I don't know if I, I've never played any of the future Metal Gears, so that would be quite interesting to see if I'll be able to kind of like go into Metal Gear Solid 2 on the PS2. Um, that would be pretty cool. Never played that game before, so uh, yeah, pretty sweet. And uh, the, the replay value of this game as well. I, I didn't even—I completely bypassed the V missions as well. Those things are pretty badass. They're pretty funny. They've even got like their own spin-off game as well, where the V missions in this game are—they they were kind of like an afterthought. They were just training exercises. Um, but then, like, they're, they're quite addictive to try and, like, beat your own time and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, the VR training unit, though. So, um, yeah, I might be able, I might, like, do them as a, as a one-off episode just to kind of, like, mess around with stuff. But anyway. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you so much for watching this series. It's been great fun to play it. Uh, really, really awesome to pick up this game back up. Uh, from playing it from back in the day. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, come back in the next series as I cut, as I play, continue my journey from playing lots of games from my childhood and ones that have completely bypassed me. So, uh, what's in the next series? Who knows? Uh, thanks so much for watching. Cheers, then, guys. See you then. Bye bye.